Do a weird face. Good mm -hmm. morning to you. My name is Logan. And I'm Jen. This is Surprised by Marriage. Today, our topic is embracing the realness. But basically, we're going to talk about quirks. Quirks in your marriage. Yes, we all have them. And sometimes you think you're marrying one person, and then you live with them 24-7, and you see all of these quirks and weird things, and you're like, who is this person, and why do you do these weird things? So today... <clears throat> My voice is normal now. Oh, okay. Today, we're going to talk about some of the quirks in our marriage, and how we get around them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In case you haven't noticed from all of our videos, Logan is very special. He thinks... <laughs> He thinks it's funny to randomly, when we're in public, pretend to propose to me, just to see what people do. I don't. He thinks it's funny. I think it's annoying. There was one time I walked into the kitchen. What? Uh, this is okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I walked into the kitchen and he was dressed in all white, dancing with a broom like Mr. Clean. Yeah. Oh, have you ever seen that commercial? That's a pretty funny commercial. Yes. And then one of the, my pet peeves, really, because it affects my housework, is that he, whenever he wears something, he says it's not dirty because he only wore it once. So he has this little pile of clothes on the chair in our room of That's things not like just... that aren't dirty. Okay, if you're watching this video <laughs> and you have that same problem, please comment and let us know because I don't think that's really that bad to wear something once if it's not fully dirty and then wear it again. I'd rather just wash it instead of having random clothes all over a bedroom. Wow. But this is like an ongoing thing. I'm trying to embrace it, but it's annoying, really. Little Miss Perfect right here is not so perfect anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. Raise the hands. How many people floss their teeth every night? People should okay. have floss should. their teeth. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, you should. But who does that? But okay, that's not necessarily the quirk. But it's always just like while That's she's trying to talk. Floss. No, but it's while you're trying to have a conversation with me as well. It's just very annoying. Oh my it's gosh. just very annoying. Um, he also is very annoyed when I drive the speed limit. If that gives you any yeah, Who drives the speed limit? I mean, when I say the speed limit, I mean, boom, speed limit is 25, cruise control is set. Speed limit 45, cruise control is set. One mile per hour over is not happening with her. <laughs> so the point of all of this, it's funny to talk about each other's quirks and everything, but you really have to be careful about focusing too much on those quirks because you can really start to resent each other because of something oh, yeah. really insignificant, which in the big picture is not going to matter. So you have to think, okay, is this thing worth fighting over? And is this going to mean anything in light of eternity? So, I mean, really, no, it's not. If he was doing something that um, could harm him or me, that is something that we should address. You know? Yeah, and if I decide to pee in the shower <laughs> every time when I get in, that shouldn't bother her because it's just a small thing. Oh, gosh. Do you really pee in the shower? <laughs> oh, my God. I may have tinkled once. <laughs> Even though that is terrifying to think about because I am a germaphobe. <laughs> I mean, it really doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, that's another quirk. We she could just, just germs everywhere. I mean, I could clean the shower and it's fine. He's not harming anybody. But like Jen said in the beginning of the video, the whole point of um, finding out these quirks is to not resent each other over them, right. but to work around them. And address the ones that are really, you know, only that will affect our souls, I guess. Mm-hmm. In the book, By Love Refined, by Alice Von Hildebrand, she talks about Tabor vision and how when we first fall in love with someone, we have this Tabor vision of them. Like when Jesus, during the transfiguration, he was on Mount Ta Tabor. Am I even saying that right? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. That's the first time I've ever heard of the Tabor vision. <laughs> but he becomes dazzling white, and he like that is the picture-perfect vision of Jesus, and that's what we have of each other when we first fall in love and are first married and then all in white yes and as you well, learn not me I wasn't in white. as you learn each other's quirks and all the weird things and all of that you kind of lose that tabor vision of each other and so <clears throat> it's important to remember 
that vision you had of them in the beginning and not let all those minor irritations and things ruin that vision because even though I mean things he does can annoy me but he is still an awesome guy I shouldn't let all those stupid things cloud my vision of the man he really is the man he really is (laughs) Oh, yeah. When in doubt, just laugh at your spouse. Yeah. It's easier. Mm-hmm. Embrace the weirdness, really. Yes. All right, that's it for now. As usual, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. All the things. I'll see you next time. Jennifer. What? Oh, my gosh. Here we, we go. Here we go again.